I'll we'll get this meal source, uh, meal source, uh, the nutrient paste machine set up right away. We can also get our trade computer set up. That sounds like it'd be helpful. Where does that live again? Misc. Just throw that in the corner here. We'll let Julie dig out this room before we put in the, the paste machine. I'm hoping the paste machine and Maybe the hopper will create a, a seal. So we can keep the hopper in the freezer so our food doesn't spoil too quick. While at the same time, uh, you know, keeping it in the machine and stuff. Got my English today. Okay, we have an alternate exit, so I'm going to throw down the, the nutrient paste machine. Like so. And the hopper. Perfect. And she's getting a trade computer set up. What did I call her? I hope I called her NG. To me it sounded like I called her something else. Like Angel or something. That's a little bit weird. I'm just gonna turn down... Uh, my system volume here. It's a little bit loud for me. That beeping was probably really annoying. I apologize. Okay, the hopper is up. Progress is being rapidly made. They've loaded the hopper already. The machine isn't up yet, but there we go. We are going to need a door right there. Door. Are you trying to middle click to, to turn the doors around? This isn't this isn't prison architect. It might look a lot like prison architect, but it's not, so don't do that. Can't quite get our cooler in yet. Soon though. There we go. We will need some power in there. What is this? Some visitors from Doctor's Community. Okay. Let's just plug it in from the outside like that. And we will set a stockpile. This will be for foods and uh, animal corpses. That'll work for right now, I think. Let's make sure the priority is higher than our outside one. Yeah, that'll work. And we'll turn down our cooler to zero degrees. Let's actually make it minus two. A little bit under freezing. Is it working? And it does count as a sealed room. This stuff can't decide if it's refrigerated or not. We might need another cooler. It's not quite getting cold enough in there. Another group visiting. Oh. We have a squirrel. Good job, guys, bringing that squirrel in here. At least it's colder. So our stuff's going to last a little bit longer. Let's throw in another another cooler. We use it to help regulate the temperature. What? Oh, no, it's not. Can you not put it down because of the chunk? Here are all those chunks. We're going to have a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of coolers scattered throughout our, our base to move uh, heat around, uh, as well as heaters, of course. So what we'll probably have, we'll probably have a, a cooler here. Oh good, it's cold now. But we'll have a, a cooler here to help keep our refrigerator cold, which will in turn help warm this room. But we will then extract heat from this, from this room into the corridor. 
and then back outside. So we're going to set up kind of a, a ventilation system throughout our base, I think. Sounds good to me. Let's do that. Let's put a, a cooler down. We don't really need it for right now, so maybe we shouldn't, but I'm going to. What? Why can you not do that? I don't know. Well, fuck it. We'll do it later. Might be the bed that's in the way. Or maybe it's just dumb. I'm gonna go with just dumb. We'll open up this area, we'll then start digging some more out. Let's get our research table set up. Let's just put it back here in the corner. And I'd also like to get our growing zone set up too. So we'll put them over here. Let's have a couple of 5x5 five five areas. I don't know how many we're going to need. God damn it, game. That'll probably be enough for right now. So we'll have potatoes in that one. And corn in that one. Rice in that one. Strawberries in that one. We're going to need a... a... a cotton one as well. I get a little bit smaller. Oh, we're gonna need uh, stuff for making medicine too. <laughs> that one's pretty important, so we'll we'll do that. And we're gonna need hops as well, because booze is a an important new feature, and everybody likes booze. There, we're gonna have a massive farm. It's gonna take. I didn't see what kind of trader that was. Whoops. Who's our Julie? Julie. He's a slave trader. Eh. Who might be able to afford a slave? No. And his medicine's really expensive. So, forget it. Uh, we are going to need to get some furniture set up in here. Before they get all sad about eating off the floor. We'll put it there. Looks good to me. Plenty of spare seats for no no real reason. I'm pretty happy with how things have started. Pebble's getting started on the farms like a trooper. So he should get our food situation sorted really quick. We are out of wood. But he's going to be chopping down some trees while he makes these farms, so I'm not going to designate anything for right now. We'll see how this works out. But we will actually just designate the ones that are in our stockpile. Make sure we get that cleared out right quick here. We found some metal in our corridor. That's good. I'm really hoping that this game has some kind of uh, a digging designation cancelled system like Dwarf Fortress. I don't want them breaching any scary rooms. But I guess we'll wait and see. Find out how that works out. I'm wondering where we should have our our big stockpile. Our trade beacon, maybe up here. It's kind of out of the way, but it might be a good place. Research table's done, and she's going to immediately start researching. So we're going to designate a corridor that goes back here in preparation for setting up that geothermal vent. And I guess in that case we'll put our stuff pile back here. I think this area might be too large uh, to have without supports. So we probably want to have it full size. We'll see how it goes. Could even make this one smaller. 
Maybe move this beacon. If this is just going to be our receiving beacon. Probably doesn't need to be quite so big. There's a little bit more space to play with out here. Another group. A really well-traveled area, this, it seems. Although most of these groups have been actual visitors rather than just passing through. Coming to hang out. What do you guys got? Guns. You don't have anything. Oh, town councilman. Villager. That's interesting. And town guard. So the other communities have hierarchies. They have that. I, I, I'm digging that. I like that. Uh oh. The squirrel has gone mad. If you guys wouldn't mind uh, taking care of that for us, it would be much appreciated. The kit doesn't like it. Uh, hopefully these guys will kill it. Oh, the hog got in the way. Get it, Shah. Stab it. Oh, don't shoot. Stop shooting your friend. Jesus. Good job. It's incapacitated, but I'm sure it'll bleed out in its own time. We didn't even have to do anything. That's still frozen? Yeah. It's still fluctuating quite a lot. But I'm mostly fine with that for right now. Julie is our only sort of full-time miner. Summer has begun. Yeah. We already have our freezer game. Way ahead of ya. Some more steel in the wall. Very nice to see. I would like to get our our inside stockpile up soon. Well, we don't really have anything that decays yet. But I think um, weapons degrade. Clothes degrade. Apparently wood degrades, we discovered. Oh, great. Alpha beavers. We do have a hunter, right? Yeah. Julie. Food. Oh. Some more silver and stuff we can pick up. So, hopefully Julie will go do that. Yeah. Let's get our butcher's table set up in preparation for the alpha beavers. I don't know where we'll put it. We should really have it near our cooler, or near our freezer. I think we'll put it right here for now. I'm thinking we might extend our refrigerator anyway, maybe put in a, another door just to improve access from the outside. And we're also going to need a cook stove. I really didn't plan this out too well, did I? Not to worry. Well, what we can do is start figuring out where we're going to do our cooking. I think a, a 5x5 room right there will be okay. Put a door in there and a door in there. Actually, we don't need two doors. Fuck it. We just have the one door. That can be our, our cooking room. That'll work out okay, I feel. We're definitely making some good progress. How is Julie doing? She killed one. Good job. Let's set up butchery forever. Gonna have so many beaver meats. And she's still researching. She's not very quick at it, though. Oh well. It'll get done eventually. Where the hell is Julie? Oh. Of course, she's off uh, shooting beavers. Slay me. How could I forget? She's also our butcher, apparently. Please degrade? Yep, 
Everything degrades. I should, uh, I should just assume things degrade. Be an easier way of thinking of it. Our farms are producing food now, which is awesome. How do we make hops? Or how do we make beer? Is that something we have to research? Yeah. So we'll get that at some point. In the meantime, we'll have a nice stockpile of hops. Maybe extend our farms some more a bit later. But for right now, we have enough food for the people we have, especially with uh, the influx of meat we're about to have from all those beavers. Our mining is on hold, unfortunately, until the beaver is dealt with. Well, that's fine. How are people feeling? Let's take a look. Oh, new colony hope. Low expectations. That's good. Everyone's kind of happy. They don't like sharing the rooms. They don't like being hungry. They're probably not keen on the uh, nutrient paste either. Uh oh. The kangaroos of victory have arrived. They're attacking immediately. Oh, God. Stop. NG. Get them. Pablo, keep running. Julie, get out of here. Pablo, run. Get him, NG. Good shot. Run, Pablo. Help, friends. There is a madman on the loose. Okay, that was okay. An awful steel shiv. Did he have any clothes? No. A naked man with a knife just dropped out of space and tried to <laughs> murder Pablo. That was uh, an interesting occurrence. I hear shots. Is it, uh... Julie shooting the things? Or even other beavers now? Are the beavers? No. Beavers? Did we get them all already? Or have they just spread out all over the place? I guess they've spread out all over the place. Goddamn beavers. Get it, Julie. It's too fast for her. She needs to get faster. She can't be our hunter if she can't keep up with the animals. The freezer's still cold. But I would like to get a, that second cooler set up. I just can't put it there for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it blocks uh, access that way. I don't know. We'll see if we can put it in once we move the beds. Hey, it's Julie's chronological birthday. Biologically, she's 49 years old. Chronologically, she just turned 111. Okay. Whose birthday was it, Julie? I've forgotten already. God. Yeah. Hasn't developed any negatives from it. I'm gonna want to get some uh, bedrooms set up pretty soon. Julie is a beaver killing machine. She's not very good at it, but I didn't say she was a good machine. Start designating out some bedrooms. Eh, we should probably make the most use of our space. I definitely like not having to count. Best new feature. Oh, that's not right. So we'll get some bedrooms set up. Give these guys their own rooms. Could you guys stop leaving the food outside? We need more hauling. Somebody needs hauling as a priority. Let's do that on Pablo. So you will haul first, then farm. We can change it later, I, I guess, when we get some more people. But for now, that'll have to do. I guess Julie finished with the beavers. 
since she is now mining away. We'll get our cook stove set up. I also want a door in there. Should probably think about setting up some turrets too. Pretty soon here. Uh, what am I looking for? Structure. Jesus. It's a normal door in here. And a cook stove. It's gonna need power. So we're gonna have to pipe our power conduit through the wall. Uh, through the door. But it'll work out. We'll put a light in there. Where is my lights? Lights? Furniture. My brain is not working today, guys. I'm sorry. I kind of wanted you to dig all this stuff out, Julie. Solar flare, so we have no electricity. You have to eat some raw food for a little while. But where? Oh, I said Pavlota. I accidentally made the window full screen, so I'm going to cycle the recording. Okay, hopefully that didn't break it. I need to stop doing that. The trouble, is, the the trouble is, I'm playing it in a, a twelve a twelve eighty seven twenty window for seven twenty p on YouTube. I'd play it in a ten eighty p window, but I don't have a, a screen capable of going that high resolution right now. Um, and the the little X for closing windows kind of hides under the 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 window bar, I guess. And I keep double clicking it. It's annoying as fuck. But we have to do what we can. Let's make sure we cook. Let's try and keep a stockpile of 10 for right now. Who is our cook? Julia, our barkeep, is our cook. We're going to start getting some nice meals set up. And we have a bedroom done, so let's start putting stuff in it. And a door. Uh oh Tribes people. I'm gonna prepare for an attack. Which I don't like. That's uh Let's make a little bit of a, a sandbag thing. Give us a little bit of cover. Hopefully somebody prioritizes that. Pablo? No. Get back. There's bad guys right there. Okay. In fact, Pablo? Oh, you're not a constructor. Yay, we got geothermal power. Uh, we'll get pneumatic picks next, because we're going to be mining for a little while here. Seems like a, a good idea. Angie's going to construct that bunker for us. Gives a little bit of cover when those guys inevitably attack. If they ever do. I'm taking their time about preparing. NG, why are you just sitting outside in the rain researching? You are allowed to sleep. Pablo, where are you going? Oh. Okay, they're coming. Everybody up. Pablo, hide. Let's get NG up here. Should probably chop those trees down. Give us a bit more room. So what do these guys have? Uh, just, uh... Why are you melee attacking a stool? They just have clubs. A marble club. A sandstone club. Get him, guys. Get him harder. That 
club is doing a lot of damage. They're fleeing. You okay? Yeah, just bruised. Get him! Ah, well, that's not bad. Let's make sure we strip these guys, or that one guy. And get back to work too, Pebble. Hopefully Julia gets some medical help. Let's uh, set her bed as medical. And move on.